Hi Scruffy, it's Johnny. Alright Johnny. Yeah, I need some conversions doing. Can you sort me out? Yeah, no worries. Brilliant. I'm throwing them over to you. I'll get on that now. Scruffy Crow. Ah! Alright, let's take a little look, see what Johnny sent me. Lots of walks. So we've got some spears. Uh, Goblin Archer. Uh, some swords. All right, this is what we've got to be working with. Uh, I'll be honest, I've already had a peek through and I've already started cutting up some of these models. Uh, had some ideas. So I need to plan what I'm gonna do with these guys. Uh, I'm gonna watch uh, Johnny's last Oathmark update and I'm gonna work out what units he's got and what command models he's gonna need. So in front of you here, or in front of me, I should say, here, I have got uh, the bulk of the army. Okay, uh, so I had a look at Johnny's last video. I notice he's got two units of spearmen, a unit of orc archers, and some swordsmen, and some goblin archers, and some spearmen. So I'm going to concentrate on doing a spearman, champion, and banner. Two sets of spear, champions, and banners. A champion and banner for the uh, sword guys, but I'm actually going to use another spear wielder uh, for the champion, because I think it could look pretty cool. Uh, and then a champion and banner for the archers as well. Also, I'm going to do a uh, shaman, because I think these archers are going to shaman up quite nicely, uh, giving a bit of work. And some of the things we're going to be using are going to be uh, these cocktail sticks, um, though I might need to go and find some slightly longer banner poles. We have some uh, tomato puree foil. Other than that, it's just going to be a knife and file, plastic glue, and probably a little bit of green stuff at the end. Another thing we're going to use is I'm going to have a forage around in my bits box. Okay, so I've popped out to my garage uh, to have a route through this bits box uh, to see if there's any bits that I think might be uh, useful or fun uh, to add to these guys. Okay, after a forage, I came up with some of these bits here. Uh, we've got some Savage Orc bits. Uh, we've got some uh, bits of slate. Might do some interesting bases. Um, more Savage Orc bits. Uh, we've got some little hair squigs. I think they can make some pretty cool heroes. We've got some little pouches and a little skull from a from the from the Frostgrave cultist sprue, and just a few other assorted bits and pieces, knives and uh, and what have you. I've also got these kids craft sticks as well. Uh, they'll be used to make slightly longer banner poles. Okay, we're going to start with the easiest conversion of all. Uh, all four of these guys are going to become banner bearers, uh, which is so easy on a spearman. And I reckon it's probably going to be fairly easy on this sword guy. Uh, first step, easiest step of all, we're just going to remove the existing weapons. And I'm going to remove the whole thing. You could just extend out these spears, uh, but I prefer to, to replace the whole bit. See, I don't like cutting up a uh, old goblin mini. These are replaceable, you can still buy these. But here we go. One, and two. I'm just gonna take the knife in here and uh, remove that bottom part. Okay, weapons removed. Uh, next step is gonna be to take the one mil drill and I'm going to go through and I'm going to try and get this dead centre through their fists. Something a bit like that. Uh, next we're going to take this uh, thicker drill bit. I think this might be 2mm, uh, but the important thing is it's a very similar thickness to these wooden sticks. And we're going to just follow that same line. And these are basically just going to carve out the insides of these hands. So because the goblin hands are so small, I've ended up losing a little bit of detail on the back here. Um, but we can fix that uh, with a bit of green stuff at the end. Won't be the end of the world. So I'm going to do that with the rest of these. Uh, this one's going to be slightly different. I'm going to take my snips and I am going to quite brutally go in underneath his 
between his arm and his pouch here. Oh, and his end game off. Well, that's fine. Uh, we'll smarten this up. Okay, so I've just used a bit of my pin wire uh, and I have just thrown a little pin in between his arm and his elbow there uh, so his arm comes straight out. So we've got these all to, to roughly the same point. I'm going to go in with the craft sticks now and then we have the basis of any standard bearer conversion and obviously with the spearman that's going to be even easier. Uh, so I'll get them all to this stage now. Okay, I'm going to look at some crossbars actually now. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to use this uh, cocktail stick and I've just chopped the points off. Uh, what we are going to do though is we're going to take a round file if I can find one. So what we're going to do is going to take a round file and we're going to work out where the middle is roughly. And I'm just going to use the round file to go in the centre and just carve out a little section. So we're going for a little cut out a little bit like that, still keeping it quite sturdy. And we're going to do the same on here and then these two parts should mesh together quite nicely. Nice big dab of super glue because it's obviously a porous material we wanted to uh, soak in and do its magic. Okay, I thought I'd better post a bit of an update before I got too far uh, with this project. Uh, we have done some work on the banner bearers. Uh, so these are the spearman banner bearers. And so I finished uh, the sticks and I've done a, little, a few little banner toppers. Uh, these are to match Johnny's shields uh, in his video. Sort of pinching those shield design ideas. Uh, same for the banner bearer for the uh, swords. And we have started work, we've got a banner bearer for the goblin spears. And I've started work on the banner, but I'm not entirely happy with it. So I'm going to make uh, these banners uh, same as I've done for my dwarves. Uh, same material. Uh, so I've just added his spear tip on the top there, that was dead easy to do. Uh, this one's a bit different, I'm going to make a square banner uh, and I've had a little moon to the top of that one. Uh, this guy's going to take a bit more work because obviously his arm was crossed in front of him and his head was pointed sideways before. Um, so I've carved away this arm, uh, cut his head off, rotated that round uh, 90 degrees. I'm going to have to sculpt his arm back in and I'm making this so it's still all removable from the base. Um, so that's going to take up quite a bit of green stuff work to get that finished off and hopefully it'll look good when it's done. That was the Archer Champion, so the Archer Officer is going to be this guy. So I have changed his sort of gripping hand to a pointing hand. And used another bow. I've put that in place, uh, so that's going to require green stuff just to finish that one off. And so that's the Archers. And then the spear champion, I've actually given him a little axe. Uh, so I've just sort of rotated his arm up a little bit um, and added this, did a bit of a weapon swap and put him on a rock. Um, so just to make him rise out of the ranks a little bit and I think that looked pretty cool. Uh, so this is the spear banners, the spear champions. I've given them matching conversions. So this is the swordsman swords just added to their spear tips. And then I've given them some little hair squigs in classic orc style. And these are a lot smaller than any orc ones I had kicking around. Uh, and it turned out, because I found one, thought it worked really well, and I had to try and find another one. It turns out that they're actually the tufts off the top of this Care Space Marine helmet. Uh, I found another one finally. So I can get, make these guys kind of match. Uh, so I'm happy with those. So these guys are kind of done. I just need to make some little foil banners for the banners and then neaten up these joins. Uh, for the swordsman. It's another GW part. Uh, we've got a sort of large orc thing. I think it's a bit big, but I think it can look cool. Uh, so I just need to fix the green stuff on the shoulder where I've rearranged it uh, and give him a new hand. Uh, so there's quite a bit of green stuff work left in that one. And then the final one I've started so far is the Shaman. Now I've carved away a whole ton of his face, the side of his cloak. This arm's a complete mess. Uh, this is the bag from an ogre, I believe. And I'm going to re completely re-sculpt his hand. So this is going to be about 50% green stuff when it's done. Um, but hopefully, using the original Archer model, it means I'll have the sort of scale and size and general style of the thing uh, will still match the rest of this army, while hopefully looking like a pretty cool shaman. So yeah, so I'm going to keep working on these. So this video is going to be less of a step-by-step. -step. 
So one of my next steps is going to be to create the banners for these various banner bearers. Um, what I'm using is this tomato puree foil. If you want to see how I make these, uh, check this video out, or if that doesn't work, the link will be down in the description, because uh, I made a lot of these for my dwarf army. Okay, I'm all finished with Johnny's conversions. So I'll just run you through uh, what I've got ready for him. Uh, we'll start here, we've got the archers. Uh, so an archer leader and archer banner bearer. Uh, this guy's had his head switched around. They've both had their arms altered. Uh, we've got the goblin spear. So we've got another champion and a banner bearer. We have some guys, we have a banner bearer uh, and a champion for the sword unit. I'm not sure about this banner. I'm not 100% convinced with it, with the shape of it and stuff. Um, it is glued on, but Johnny, if you want to take that off, cut it to a different shape, change it around, that's up to you. Uh, I'll throw a bit of the spare foil in with your package if you want to change that. Another super simple conversion here, just pop the sword blade off and put a cleaver on. Um, I was just a bit messing around. We have the spear banners. Once again, straightforward. These are cut out of plastic card and just popped on as toppers. Uh, two banners, which made the exact same way, just drilled out the spear holes. We've got two spear champions. Uh, I have a bowman banner bearer. Now Johnny specifically asked me not to do these triangular banners, uh, but this is a bit of an afterthought. Um, bits kicking around, feel free not to use it. And the banner top on this one is inspired by the Melton um, orcs that I've got for Johnny as well. Um, so here is the final big conversion that I did. Uh, it was a shaman. So this started off as an archer, very similar to this guy, um, but with a lot of reposing, uh, some Ogre Kingdoms bits. Uh, some Frostgrave bits on here actually, uh, a lot of green stuff work. Hopefully that is a passable Shaman to get him started. So you can replace him with a better model later date. Um, and there's a special surprise and treat for Johnny, uh, though I'm not entirely happy with the way it came out. I put this together with this. Uh, so this is all scratch built from a Millie Pot on the most part and then I cast the wheels in some plaster. Um, I think the whole thing ended up a little bit oversized. Uh, but see what you can do with it. Throw some paint on it. Um, and don't feel the need to use it if you don't want to. Uh, I also made a little orc carrying a stone to accompany that. Uh, so you can load the stone in there. Uh, on top of all the conversions I did, we've got uh, Johnny's command unit from Melton. I've also ended up with a spare troll from a Ralpartha Kickstarter. Uh, I don't know how I ended up with two of these, but I did. I've thrown in a 50mm square base, so use that if you think you can. And there we go, everything packed away in a little box. And we'll uh, go and take that to him. Right, something's just turned up. Cheers, Scruffy. Can't wait to go through this. Cheers, mate. And that's all for this video. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more. And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.